Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Eddie with DIY Basics. Uh, today, I just wanted to go over the GFCI uh, outlet. Uh, stands for uh, Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. Uh, basically, I um, just wanted to talk a little bit about how to wire one of these things and, uh, you know, what the different terminals stand for on them. Sometimes they could be a little confusing, so I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Uh, first off, I just want to mention, if, if you're not feeling uh, comfortable uh, working around electricity, uh, then I recommend you get a licensed electrician. So obviously, you're going to be working with electricity, and uh, you could get hurt, all right? Uh, so uh, moving on, uh, as you can see, there's two uh, terminals that are exposed, and then there are two that are covered by this yellow uh, tape. Basically, it, it comes like that out of the box, and, and the reason why is because when you turn it around, you focus in on it, you see that the two that are exposed uh, say line, and then the two that are covered up uh, indicate load. So the line is the power coming in, and the load is everything being protected under this GFI. Uh, so very, very, very basic, very simple stuff. So if you uh, wanted to replace an existing outlet with one of these, you would open up the box. If you just had uh, one set of wires coming in, your black, your white, and your ground, then those would get um, connected to the line side. And this would be the only outlet that would be protected under this GFI. If there were uh, an additional set of wires in the box, then you would play, you would uh, separate those wires, uh, test the wires to determine where the power is coming in, and you would take those um, hot wires and connect them to the line side, and then you would uh, take the other set of wires and connect those to the load. And then everything downstream of this GFI would be protected, uh, as well as this actual GFI. Uh, if you have an outlet and you're curious, to know whether it's uh, protected under uh, a GFI. What you can do is you can purchase one of these things at the Home Depot, and they'll usually come with a little uh, little button. Basically, you plug this in, it'll light up if you have juice to the outlet, and what you wanna do with it plugged in and with the lights illuminated, you just wanna hit the button. If the lights go out, then that means that that circuit is protected under, the, under a GFI that's located in another location. At that point, you go, you find the location. It'll usually be uh, indicated tripped by this little light here will be on, and that'll indicate that the circuit has tripped. You simply reset it by hitting that reset button right there, and then that light should go out, and this uh, outlet should uh, start working again, and everything, un everything under the outlet should be protected. Uh, but if you happen to plug this in, and you hit the button and it does nothing, then that means that that outlet is not protected under a GFI. And if it's supposed to be, then at that point, you may want to replace it. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.